Hey YouTube, Tess is back again. Got another one six figure. I've had it for about a week. It's the um, Sandor Cleegan the Hound from Three Zero. I uh, pretty strange boxing actually. I've never seen like didn't expect to see in the yellow. So, but it is, and uh, for what it is, it's been like a, a coated in a um, some sort of um, powdery substance. It feels like a a very textile sort of feeling to it. Um, yeah, got some embossing of uh, three hounds, which is uh, what you what you follow up with the the inner box, which is uh, got the same sort of thing. Nice clear screen to display the figure. It does come in its own shipping box as well, which is the bonus. Okay, there's my trusty little box opener there, pretty cool. Okay, right. Just a um, single layer uh, clamshell, nothing underneath. It doesn't come with a stand. The 3 Zero do not make uh, stands for their figures. Um, some people like it, some people don't. I, I'm sort of Either way, really, I don't really uh, care if I um, have one or don't have one. Uh, either way, as long as it stands up, probably. <clears throat> I pretty much um, stripped off the uh, plastic bagging off the feet and the uh, hands, which I, what I did like about the way they um, bag their, um, their, their painted parts is they don't tape the um, bag um, hard around the figure, so the bags easily come off. I have um, I rearranged the hair a bit and put the clear plastic sleeve back over his head just to um, show you what it looks like once you take the plastic off. And that's pretty much how it should sort of stay. If you start mucking around the hair, it's going to fluff up. So you really need to uh, um, get a simple um, hairstyle. Um, well, I've separated the uh, hair at the front there just to display his scarring on his face. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm pretty much not going to touch his hair now, but the detail in the uh, head is very good. So, what I'm going to do here is pretty much tell you it's a ratchet system, and that's as far as it goes up. His arms go up. Right, the armor doesn't sort of uh, restrict it in any way. <clears throat> Another thing I have done, uh, which I know that's how he wears it, is his uh, over his leather belt that he has over his um, chest here it goes under. It's supposed to go under his uh, plate armor here, but the plate armor is um, sort of stuck to the outfit, so. I like to sort of feed it around it, sort of semi around it, and underneath the shoulder plates. Um, that looks much better, I think, than, than over the top. It, it did look, didn't look right for me. Uh, what can I say about it? It's a very good detailed scope. I'm just going to quickly um, show you the head close up. As you can see, uh, close up it is very detailed. Uh, the scarring is, I'm going to quickly um, pull back a bit, show you the scarring, very good scarring there. Hey, the um, yeah, the body seems to have a ratchet system throughout uh, the you know, like a clicking sound. Twenty, it's like twenty-eight points of articulation. The only thing that's uh, hinted is the um, it doesn't um, articulate at the neck point, or the top neck of the neck. Um, what else can we go on to? We okay. F following down the forearm, you know, the restriction on the elbow is um, fine. 
a little bit of limited movement in the wrist but there is movement the armor plating is like a hard sort of plastic the undergarment is what was supposed to be like a leather a studded leather uh, protective layer uh, is rubber it does have a, a nylon lacing coming down the sides here you'd have to be careful on um, overposing you could um, snap the uh, holes on the rubber the belts are the same they're made from a, like a, a rubber with the material um, strapping uh, connected or glued I did have an issue with where was it? Oh, this lacing here is only glued from the inside of this belt. Uh, look, I only just took the strap out and it fell apart. So the gluing wasn't very good on this, but it simply just pushed back into the hole and and um, it looks fine. So I'm not going to even worry about gluing it. So I'm not going to be touching that belt again anyway. Be aware of that if you tend to um, tuck the belt under the armour, like I've done. And also be careful of uh, threading your large belt through this. It could break the material. It's a, almost like a very fine leather style material. So there you have the back, the hair. The hair, I like the rooted hair. It's um, it's fine. It's, it looks really good. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's um, a much better improvement from um, Three Zero's other um, figures. There has been videos on, um, uh, for for instance, uh, John Snow, where he he wasn't as well made, uh, whereas this figure is very, very, very good. Uh, weathering. Pants, your typical um, lace up pants with uh, mud all over them. Um, there you go, Mr. No Ass. He is a very cardboard straight figure. He's, he's, he's yeah, very iron board, I suppose you'd say, straight figure. Uh, boots. The armor sort of and the yeah they go around some sort of leather underlay uh, like a strapping underlay uh, underneath their material and then you have the um, strapped on boots they're all one formed uh, mold there's no leather strapping which I don't know why they didn't do the same as they did the top part of this body but they haven't articulation is uh, a little bit hindered but there is um, some sort of articulation. The green sort of muddy effect on the uh, bottom of his boots. Mouldy sort of muddy effect. <sighs> Logos under the boots. 2017. Home box office sink. A double uh, jointed in the knees there, no, lots of articulation. I mean, how much do you want to um, separate the legs? But that's about as far as I'd probably go. You can go a little bit further, but... No, no sort of hindrance in the, in the articulation. So, yeah, I'm very happy with uh, the overall effect of the boots. And the um, pants, and really the the whole the whole body, it um it came up quite well. The hand, I love the hand. Okay, I'll um just uh, go through the accessories. Wood grain, sort of um, out of sheath. The, the sword, uh, quite flexible. And the handle. Actually quite looks quite good. 
lovely swords. I wish it was metal, but it's not. That's the one that goes on his back. Well, I'm assuming it goes on his back because, uh, the, yeah, I wouldn't go on the, he wouldn't be running with that. This is the smaller sword, very similar in the um, wood effect, and the blade. Very Valhalla or um, Viking like um, swords. Then we have a, a non sheathed uh, knife. And a bit of a wood grain handle. And it's sort of like a fist uh, thrusting blade. Not too sure what you call them, but uh, yeah, yeah, you, you just um, hold on to it like a knuckle duster, and uh, yeah, you thrust it into their neck or your ribs or whatever you have to do to penetrate the armor, and yeah, quite a effective uh, weapon. And then it uh, has the two gripping hands. And that's pretty much it. it um, that's all you get with it, really. <laughs> and I suppose, it, in a way, that's a, a good thing. You know, it's very, it, the simplicity of the whole thing is you can pretty much get everything onto him apart from two hands. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm um, quickly putting him into a couple of poses. Uh, I will just point out the four points of where he holds his um, weapons. The knife goes onto his right side here off his hip. The smaller sword goes off to the left side of his hip. The fist thrusting blade uh, joins just above his um, sword off his ribs here on the side of his left side of his chest and finally we have the uh, large sword going off his back okay I'll we'll roll the camera and do some poses with him I've just got um, him placed on Aragon's which is made by the ACI company um, stand which fits him sort of pretty well. It's uh, quite a large stand. I also have Aragon here, which I will quickly put next to him just to give you an idea. He's slightly bent at the knees too. Um, straight legged. There's a there's a big size difference in the uh, the height, which is pretty accurate. Uh, from the back here, I um, got the sword sheath into the bands, the leather bands there, or the straps. Uh, be careful while pushing that in, but it is quite smooth fitting. Wielding, uh, I've got, got him wielding both um, swords, a uh, small one on the left and the large on the right. Let's give you another close up of the uh, head while he's rotating around. Different angle. The swords sort of uh, don't fit tight in his hands, but uh, with the, the end pieces uh, slotted near his fingers, it does uh, hold the pose quite well. There you have it. The only other figure I have uh, uh, of the Game of Thrones characters is the Tyrion Lannister. You can see he's quite small next to this six foot five dude. <laughs> he's uh, yeah. Uh, Tyrion, yeah, he's pretty cool. He's got uh, comes with the comes with a book and some a series of hands, a little uh, dagger style sword, I suppose. I'm not too sure what it is. Um, 
and a little goblet. Yeah, he's quite uh, heavy for for his size, actually. Um, again, no stand. But... Okay, I'll do one more pose. Pretty much uh, standard standing pose, just gripping his handles while the um, weapons are back in their sheaths, and they'll make that a wrap. Okay, just one more um, pose without the base. Just standing there holding his weapons handles. And... So there you have it, Sandor Cleegan. Looks really good, all armoured up, all his weapons on. Uh, it's pretty much just like uh, in the series. Uh, the only thing I can probably pick, pick uh, mm, uh, the bronzing maybe, the bronzing on the armour. It's more of a silver, more of a silk, it's supposed to be more of a silver, and it's more of a browny sort of bronzy sort of effect. They do have splashes of silver throughout, so I would, that would be just nitpicking. I, I, I really don't uh, have, have any issues really with it that I can think of. Um, so yeah, it's a, definitely a win-win a, a for this one. I do have um, some more three zero, like well, one more three zero figure coming across, and I believe that will be my next video. And that is the curse of uh, Michael Myers, which is yeah, that's going to be a, a pretty cool Halloween figure to to show. <clears throat> so I can't recall seeing many uh, Halloween figures being released at all. Uh, so yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Apart from uh, the customs that uh, one customs does, he, brilliant job. Uh, so I'll be linking uh, his um, site in the next YouTube video as well. There you go. Test just one out. Catch ya.